Right, you've reached the end of a great dive or a great day's diving and it's time to pack up your equipment. Now, if we pack this up correctly, there's gonna be less drama later on. So first thing we wanna do, we're gonna turn off our air. So turning our valve all the way off and then we will be depressurizing the lines. Doesn't matter which regulator you push there, it's going to take the air out of the lines, which will then make it possible for us to remove our regulator from the cylinder. You'll notice all the hoses have gone floppy. We wanna disconnect anything that's attached to the BCD, so it could be your low pressure line, if you've had your gauges clipped to your BCD for streamlining purposes. And we're gonna start by removing our regulator. If you've done that up only finger pressure, that should be very easy, and then we'll unseat the valve. This is a really key part of your pack up. Some might say the most important part of your pack up. This dust cap here is very crucial to the lifespan of your equipment. Make sure you put that back in place. An important thing to do also is try and make sure there's a limited amount of water in there. You might wanna get a towel, you might wanna blow on it. Some people will really hate this, but a bit of air pressure will also uh, blow some of that water off of the dust cap. Now, put that back in place, and we're gonna apply the same principle of finger pressure to that. It is only rubber, and so we don't want to over, uh, over uh, put too much pressure on your dust cap. That is now in place, and we're securing that from any of the outside elements that could get into your first stage, which on a boat, just the salty air is enough to start doing a bit of damage. So make sure, divers, please put your dust caps on. Secondly, pet hate of mine is seeing regulators with crumpled up hoses. What's really important is that we keep nice soft loops in your hoses. Easiest way to do that, hold your regulators by your first stage, grab two hoses in one hand, cross it over behind the others, same hand, grab those hoses and look at those nice soft loops there. We're not putting any damage or excess pressure on our hoses and they will be loving that. Secondly, we will be taking our BCD off. Take any excess pressure out of the BCD. Undo your cam band, and you should be able to slide that straight off. We then need to make sure our tank is secured. Now, uh, you don't want to leave this stuff lying around the deck of the boat in case cylinders fall over, uh, lead weight belts get dropped. We're going to start seeing damage to your equipment that we don't want. So make sure your equipment is stashed away. I've seen a lot of people try and assist other divers in packing up. I think you should really pack up your own stuff, take care of your own equipment. That way you know you've packed it all up correctly, nothing goes missing. Uh, and nothing gets damaged. So be a little bit selfish and look after your dive gear first before anyone else's after you have completed a dive. There you go. After that, we get on to washing. Okay, divers, next thing we're gonna be doing is one of the most important parts of your equipment maintenance, which is cleaning. We see a lot of regulators come in either for service or sometimes even people claiming uh, equipment failure. And a lot of that can be put down to poor cleaning. The first step in regards to uh, cleaning your equipment is actually to know your equipment. Not all regulators are the same and not all BCDs are the same. They require certain types of cleaning. So for example, I've got a few here for you. Here we have uh, Marius and Aqualung. Both have a first stage which seals when there's no pressure. Marius have what's called uh, the AST, the auto sealing technology. So there is a, a, a little uh, seat in there that will be moved out the way with some air pressure, but when it, the dust cap is off and there is no air pressure, it will seal and then water's gonna get in the first stage. That's crucial um, when it comes to cleaning. So is also uh, the Aqualung. Aqualung has a mechanical uh, part on your first stage which depresses when it is attached to a cylinder or if you put too much pressure on your dust cap. So in actual fact, this might scare a few divers. A 
I've really cocked that bit up. I don't have the hose here. <laughs> All right, so um, going back to the Aqualung here, with its auto closure device, actually needs to be rinsed without the dust cap on. So we can actually put water directly onto our first stage there. And in fact, important to rinse that one in that way, otherwise you could see some failure. Um, Umares should also get a little bit of a rinse. That's not all Umares, just that particular brand. Other considerations, if you buy Atomic or Ziegel, they have what's called a seat saving orifice, which means that the seat in the regulators will retract when it's not under pressure. This ensures great performance over a long period of time. It also means some water can get back up inside the hoses when you're washing it. So when you are rinsing your regulators, it is important if you do get water up inside those hoses to actually allow the water to drain out of the, uh, the hoses as well as your regulators. What is also a good idea with a regulator such as the Atomic or the Ziegel is to put some air pressure back through the first stage to blow any of that excess water out so that we don't do any damage internally. Uh, so it's important to know your equipment when it comes to cleaning up your regulators. For our example here though, we're going to use some of our high gear here that's um, been used on the weekend, still a little bit of sand on it and we're gonna start the cleaning process. What I've got here is a tub of fresh water. And what we're actually gonna do, first of all, checking that our dust cap is in place. Not too much pressure on it, it looks good. And what we can actually do here is take it, we can actually take our whole regulator and dunk it in the water. If you are being very kind to your equipment, you can even use lukewarm water, which will help break down some of that corrosion and prevent any of that salt water, uh, green sort of patina that builds up on the outside of your equipment, stop any of that building. Once we've given it a soak, we don't want to give it too long. What I often do is I'll actually take my first stage out, leave that sitting and let my regulator sit for a while. What I do as well is I rotate the hoses. We pull any of your hose protectors back just to allow fresh water to circulate through the regulator. I like to pull my low pressure inflator, clip back the collar of that, and like to make sure everything gets a good old flush with, uh, with fresh water. Even spin your console. In the case of a dive computer, a wrist computer, that often gets forgotten. Make sure you put that in the water as well. Give that a good rinse. I often end up wearing mine into the shower. Uh, so give that all a good soak. Once you have soaked your regulator and uh, given it a good clean, what I'll often do is actually have it, I'll hang it so that the water cannot drain it all into the first stage. Sometimes uh, you will have heard that you can't depress the, uh, the diaphragm or the purge button on your regulator when cleaning. If you do so and water, a little bit of water gets up in the hose, just make sure you hang it this way. If you are one of those people that has accidentally taken your dust cap off and submerged them in water, please make sure you come in and see us or go see your dive technician. Uh, we can do a couple of things there that may prevent you uh, from needing a service, but you need to tell us straight away. Otherwise, if you put water, uh, put fresh or salt water through your system, you can cause premature uh, degradation of your equipment. All right, so we've cleaned our rigs. We're hanging them up. So potentially here, this is not for long-term storage. This is just to make sure water is running off of our equipment. Okay, secondly, we're gonna move on to our BCD. Now, first of all, you might actually hear, we have some water in this BCD. It's important to remember after a dive, you've actually got salt water in your BCD. It's important to clean that out first. Up in your BCD. And empty it out through your inflator hose. Quite a lot in this one.
Okay, once we have the salt water out of our BCD, it's time to commence cleaning. Your BCD, you don't have to be uh, so cautious about with as you are with your regulator, you actually want water inside your BCD. You want water everywhere, all throughout this piece of equipment. They're very robust. You want to make sure you wash your weight pockets as well. In this case, we want to make sure that we move anything that moves. And the very next thing that we need to do, and the most important thing we need to do to prevent salt crystals building up inside your BCD is clean it internally. The salt crystals that build up in the BCD bladder will pierce it, and we've seen some huge bits of salt crystals that come out of BCD bladders that are like glass. So very, very important to flush your BCD. And a, an old diver once told me, if you can taste salt coming out of the water in the bladder, then you, are, uh, you need to clean it again. First of all, two ways to do it. One is get the hose into the inflator and start running some water down into your BCD. Give that a good old swirl throughout the bladder. And then we're gonna rinse that out. The second of these methods comes down to knowing your equipment. Okay, so these dump valves here can be removed. There's a couple of very important considerations. So we're removing the whole power inflator at the moment. Inside of there, you'll see that there is a gasket. That gasket is what seals your BCD. It's a very convenient and quick way to be able to wash your BCD. We can put the hose right in there. What that also means is you could take your power inflator and soak it in some warm water and give it a good old flush and make sure that there, because the, no salt builds up in there. Big risk to divers is uh, automatically inflating their BCD if there's salt build up or the, the inflator hasn't been serviced for a number of years. Good washing will prevent a lot of that. Remember, inspect this gasket because we don't want that coming out. When it comes to putting the gasket uh, and power inflator back together, make sure you locate it in the right position. And thread that on. We'll be checking that that is um, in place correctly very shortly. Again, we will drain water through the power inflator. I like to actually push the inflate button also so we can see water coming out of the uh, out of the inlet. Once all the water has drained from your BCD, we then need to inflate it and make sure that everything is as it should be. No leaks. All good. 
And now BCD then is ready for us to, uh, to dry out and uh, pack away after that. You notice this whole time we've got in here with some wetsuit wash, all of our software, fins, wetsuit, mask, giving it a good old soak to make sure there's no salty buildup and keep it all in good condition.